Hey folks, Charlie Sims here. Hope you're having a lovely day and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a build challenge for a change. So we're doing every room is one by one tile bigger. So we start at one by one, two by two, three by three. And I think I go up to seven by seven and I don't want to do any more for myself because otherwise it's just going to be huge. And we start on like a fairly small lot in Willow Creek, I believe. And yeah, so... I end up doing a modern build, which is like a bit out of my comfort zone, but because we essentially end up with a collection of squares, I think suburban is going to be very difficult for me to pull off. So we end up going the modern route, and I think it looks okay. I mean, to be honest, I'm still not entirely sure how I feel about the build. It's really square, but I guess that's just a given. Um, but we try and add like a little bit of detail. I do make a porch out of these bits that are just kind of sticking out from the main building because obviously we have like a couple of rooms that are a one by one and a two by two. So you're going to have some like weird extremities. So I thought we'd make that less weird by turning them into a porch. And I think it adds a bit of interest as well to the building that is otherwise just... Um, square <laughs> um so yeah so now i'm just adding some windows and a bit of platform to give it just uh, yeah a, a bit of thickness on the roof i mean nothing new we do use a platform trick that i mean i haven't seen before to try and make up a bit of the building on the left uh we'll see that in a minute but i just basically make i extend the upper story using platforms which I mean, isn't cheating um, because I, I don't, it's, it's not technically a room. It's just platform that I just raise to the highest platform. Um, and then I put the wall trim on top of it. So still not technically a room. So that works. And I do like I do like bending these rules, well, <laughs> not bending the rules, but I do like, um, you know, taking a few liberties uh, <clears throat> Yeah, finding some loopholes, I guess. So I'm just... I love this window from Eco Lifestyle. I'm just making sure that uh, it's directly above the counters. And yeah, now I'm just making again, not not cheating because I just like I add a wall, but I don't. I'm not adding a room. I'm pretty sure that is allowed. But yeah, I'm not sure. So yeah, later I just move that platform to the left all the way up. Um, not yet though. I'm still working out the windows. There doesn't end up being too many windows on this. It's quite minimalistic. Um, yeah, just because, like, modern builds are completely out of my comfort zone, but I did, like, have a lot of fun. And the exterior comes, though, it comes about pretty quickly, to be honest. Uh, like, this is pretty much it. I just add, like, a few more windows and then do that platform trick and add, um, a, a pool and a backyard. And, yeah, and then I know, like, I haven't got that many windows on the upper half of the build, uh, the second story so I cover that with some plants and yeah so this is the trick that I do so that I basically try and make that look like part of the house and I think that makes the house look a lot better I mean you get like a bit of glitching because it's not technically a room so you can like see the side but I think it's fine I end up covering it with an awning and I just think the building looks so much better I mean, it, it doesn't look great, but it looks so much better. It looks really weird before I added that, I think. Uh, so, yeah, I'm quite happy with it at this point. And we just add the garden. And, yeah, I'm sorry it's taken so long for me to upload a build challenge. It's not through lack of trying. I've been having a lot of trouble with OBS. I'm um, trying with my, like, face cam. So I was originally thinking, well, I'm doing a build challenge, so my face has got to be in it, but... I mean, then I realised, well, it doesn't actually have to be in it. And like, um, yeah, I, I've done a I've done a build challenge without my face in. So I don't know why I was trying so hard to include my face. And maybe it's preferable that my face isn't in it. You know, probably is, to be honest. So, yeah, I think um, I, I think I'm going to be doing some more. And then like eventually I will sort my OBS out. But yeah, I had like a load of trouble with like the video not matching the audio. So me like looking really poorly dubbed. And then and then I was having a bit of trouble with the quality. And then I sorted all my OBS settings out, went to record. And basically my, um, my computer just said no. 
um, <laughs> to quote a really old TV show, really new sort of date my references. Um, but no, yeah, my um, it, it, it just went really slow and laggy for some reason. So yeah, it just it, it wasn't looking good. Like it was painful to build. Like you know when it's so slow that it was painful. Like that's what I was having uh, with my face cam. So yeah. But, you know, one day I just need to uh, I need to move out because I'm in like a really small flat at the moment and I just can't afford like a full setup. So I just do this off my laptop. But yeah, one day um, when I've got the room, I will get a decent computer. Um, yeah, currently, currently I am looking, but the market is just like it's just really saturated at the moment in the UK. Like it's strange because I thought like with COVID, it would it would mean that less people are I don't know selling and well not selling but buying especially like since the government has said that um, they're no longer well a lot of lenders are no longer taking twenty percent deposits they're taking like ten um, percent deposits they're taking twenty percent deposits so I thought like maybe that might make the market a bit less saturated but uh things are going straight away well everything that i look at anyway seems to go straight away um but yeah one day um i mean no rush but anyway i haven't even spoken about the build <laughs> so i really like i think the build looks so good once i put all of this light wood throughout it because it's it, it's predominantly like white on the walls and in the kitchen and then i really like that there's this light wood accent colour coming through from the chairs and the floor which is it's quite weird to match your chairs with the floor but I did um yeah just uh, really liked that and yeah so this ends up being like quite a modern build um yeah you know, you're probably like working out it's like white and um yeah predominantly like white and quite uh quite modern and I really like love this window we get with from eco lifestyle with the shelves and i always just alt f9 and put a load of plants on the shelf and i just love how that looks so it was really nice that i was able to do that because i don't use that window a lot at all because while i really like how it looks on the inside i don't like how it looks on the outside so i don't often use that window especially because modern is not my forte so and i feel like that's quite um it's it, it's a window for modern builds and now that I've put that down, it really makes you want to build a container home. So maybe soon. I built a lot of container homes when I first got the per the eco lifestyle, to be honest. Oh, that was fun when that first came out. Um, yeah, so I just removed the... I, I originally put a cloak rack from Laundry Day, but that was kind of coming in and out of the side. So I just substituted that out. And now we're on to the bathroom. You will see that I've done the living room to the right, but I haven't because I basically need to put everything away in my Sims inventory and put the stairs down because um we forget to place stairs in the living room. So we'll see the footage of me doing the living room later because I have to do it. I have to do it all again. Uh, so yeah, that's what's on your right, but we're not skipping anything else out. And I'm just doing a bathroom. I just had like a little plant in in the bathroom, which um. I quite like doing and then addressing out on the the door so yeah have a bit of fun with the bathroom I mean not too much fun because it's a bathroom you know how much fun can you actually have and yeah now I'm just kind of separating the stairs so the stairs actually slot in pretty well like I'm not angry about it and uh, we still have like a load of living room space and I'm still able to put everything that I put down initially when I had more space because the stairs weren't there so I'm still able to put all that down and I'm just getting things out of my sims inventory now so it look so the living room comes about really quick because I already know what I'm putting down because I already put it down um and this is when I decide to put the fireplace on an angle as well so that it's like facing the living room a bit so I have to like uh, I basically just put a diagonal wall down and then just move it with the alt key and then put the walls back and I think that looks nice there in the corner, like facing the living room and uh, where you'll see sitting, I guess. And then I put like a load of Katrina dolls down because I just really like them. I think they're really cute and they kind of just like fit everywhere. So I think whenever I put that kind of display from Eco Lifestyle, I end up putting a Katrina doll in it. I actually use a lot from Eco Lifestyle in this build. So yeah, I actually really like this living room. Uh, also put a candle making station there just for fun 
and then a book case as well from Eagle Love Song, which uh, I don't use that too often, so it's weird that I use that. And I think I'll just put another hanging plant down, just for fun. And now we go upstairs to um, the bedroom. So yeah, the interior wasn't wasn't too difficult to be honest. Um, yeah, I thought. The interior is fine. It's just the exterior with this challenge, like trying to make it look nice on the exterior. As I said, I'm still not sure whether I actually did. I'm like in two minds about how I feel about the exterior. Sometimes I'm like, ah, oh. and then other times I'm just like, mm, well, meh. But <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if you're still here, like, thank you for your patience. And you know, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more content from me, please hit subscribe. I'm going to be doing some more build challenges. So if you like those, please hit subscribe. Also, if you have any suggestions for future build challenges, um, please comment them down below. I was thinking of doing the one where every room is a random number of tiles. I think that would be fun. I only haven't done that one because... That's the one that I recorded like twice and then my OBS, yeah, I mean, long story with that, but <laughs> I will, um, I, I will, I will do it again. Um, and actually, yeah, would, would be kind of worried about the second time because the first time I did it, um, I, I didn't, I, I was quite lucky. So it'll be interesting to see what I get the next time because I think you can be quite unlucky with that, right? Like having like a, I don't know two tile bedroom and a 70 tile bathroom or whatever um so yeah anyway but now i'm just adding like a little desk up here like the bedroom is obviously huge i think this might be the seven by seven room but anyway the sim that lives here has like a really big bedroom so i decide to make this their study area um and i do end up putting a robotic station down and that's because i think that they're in the engineering career and obviously like maybe they candle make in their spare time or I don't know their partner does because I mean yeah you can have two sims here there's a double bed and they can get to the double bed by either on either side I think unless you have to move that puffet I'm not sure and I would just make like a, like a cluster of paintings since looking at the stuff in the paranormal stuff pack, I'm really just like, oh yeah, a load of paintings together, a cluster of paintings. I really like them now because of that. Uh, and then I'm really not sure what to fill up with the rest of the space. So we just put like a little seating area and some more lovely snowy escape uh, furniture that just matches everything. And now I just add a table to the outside to make it a bit more functional and then some lights and then we're done. So thank you so much for watching this. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more content from me, please hit subscribe. Catch you later.